You want to learn word for breakfast food in Lingala? Watch this video to the end. You will be able to name them. Hello. Welcome to Lingala Academy channel. The best place to learn Lingala language easier and faster. If you haven't subscribed yet, or this is your first time watching one of our videos, welcome. Please click right now on the subscribe icon and activate the ring so you never miss our future video uploads. You can also connect with us on our social media platforms. We are on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Just type Lingala Academy. Lingala Academy. You can also add us on Snapchat by typing the love gracias the love gracias d e l o v e g r a t i a s make sure you ring the bell and your page looks like this so you don't miss out and you get the notifications whenever we put a new video In today's lesson, I will teach you Lingala vocabularies for breakfast food. As you know, we have three types of meals, which are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast in Lingala is called Bilei Yatongo. Bilei Yatongo. Lunch is Bilei Yanzanga. Bilei Yanzanga. Note that Nzanga means afternoon and Bilei means food. Dinner is Bilei Yapokwa. Bilei ya pokwa. Pokwa means evening. Tongo means morning. Hunger. Hunger in Lingala is nzala. Nzala. I'm hungry. I'm hungry in Lingala is nazali nanzala. Nazali Nanzala. Or you can say Nazoyoka Nzala. Nazoyoka Nzala. I want to eat something. I want to eat something. In Lingala is Nalingi Nalia Eloko Moko. Nalingi Nalia Eloko Moko. I want to eat. You add by something you want to eat, like a name of food. You will say, Nalingina Lia. Let's say you want to eat um, a mango. Nalingi Nalia Manga. Nalingi Nalia Manga. So just replace this by the name of the food you want to eat. Example I want to eat breakfast. Nalingi Nalia Bileia Tongo. So if it's dinner, you will say Nalingi Nalia Bilei Yapokwa. Okay. As I just said, breakfast in Lingala is called Bilei Ya Tongo. Bilei Ya Tongo. Enjoy your breakfast in Lingala is Bolei Malamu Ya Bilei Ya Tongo. Bolei Malamu Ya Bilei Ya Tongo. If you want to wish, 
enjoy your lunch to someone who is enjoying their lunch or dinner you just need to replace tongo by when the action is taking part example if it's lunch you will say bolei malamu yabilei yanzanga if it's dinner time bolei malamu yabilei yapokwa and the person will respond thanks you too matondo nayope matondo nayope m here is silent you don't pronounce m it's just p matondo nayope i'm sure i'm sashaded I'm satiated or I'm very full in Lingala is Natondi for this one for I'm satiated and I'm very full we translate that by Natondi Makasi Cereal in Lingala is called Losango 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 making cereal in lingala or to make cereal in lingala is said kosala potopoto ya losango kosala potopoto ya losango coffee maker in lingala is called masini ya kolamba kawa masini ya kolamba kawa tea maker in lingala is masini ya kolamba tea masini ya kolamba tea tea is the same like tea in english to turn off a coffee maker in lingala is kokanga masini ya kolamba kawa kokanga masini ya kolamba kawa kokanga masini ya kolamba kawa to turn on a coffee maker kofungola masini ya kolamba kawa kofungola masini ya kolamba kawa to wash a coffee maker to wash a coffee maker you will say kosukola masini ya kolamba kawa kosukola masini ya kolamba kawa coffee pot and teapot in lingala are called mbilika mbilika the teapot is dirty the teapot is dirty in lingala we translate that by mbilika ezali bosoto mbilika ezali bosoto or you can say mbilika ezali na bosoto washing the teapot kosukola mbilika kosukola mbilika tea in lingala is called tea spell t i it's also called chakai or chai these two are slang in lingala chakai or chai those are slangs making tea in lingala is kosala tea making tea is kosala tea drinking tea komela tea example 
Nazali komela ti. Nazali komela ti. I'm drinking tea. Second example. Olekisi sukali na ti. Olekisi sukali na ti. You put too much sugar in tea. You can also say Olekisi sukali makasi na kati ya ti. It's the same translation. You put too much sugar in tea. Third example. Honey tea. Tea ya mafuta nzoi. Honey tea in Lingala is tea ya mafuta nzoi. Coffee in Lingala is called kawa. Drinking coffee, komela kawa. Making coffee, kosala kawa. Example, nazali komela kawa. I'm drinking coffee. Olekisi sukali na kawa. You put too much sugar in coffee. Another example. This coffee is too strong. This coffee is too strong. We translate by Kawa oyo eleki makasi mingi. Kawa oyo eleki makasi mingi. This tea is too strong. Milk. Milk in Lingala is called Miliki. Miliki. Not that. You need to specify what type of milk you want. To do so, you need to say Milikiya. Milikiya means milk of. Followed by the name of milk you want example co milk will be miliki ya ngombe co in lingala is ngombe miliki ya ngombe milk powder is miliki ya putulu miliki ya putulu or you can call it miliki ya pusier Miliki ya poussière. Poussière is French, but they also use it. Cold milk. Cold milk. Miliki ya piyo. Miliki ya piyo. Or you can say, Miliki ya malili. Hot milk. Hot milk is Miliki ya moto. Miliki ya moto o miliki batokisa 1% milk miliki ya pusantaji moko miliki ya pusantaji moko 2% milk miliki ya pusantaji mibali miliki ya pusantaji mibali Next, condensed milk. Condensed milk is called miliki ya linzanza. Miliki ya linzanza. Linzanza alone means can. Packaged milk. Packaged milk is miliki ya sachet. Miliki ya sachet. Water. Water is called mai. Mai is used for any water type. But to be specific, mai ya komela, for example, mai ya komela is drinking water. To drink water is komela mai. 
So that's the difference. Drinking water is maya komela. And to drink water is komela mai. That's the action or the verb. Note that mai ya kosukola maboko. Mai ya kosukola maboko means water to wash hands. Mai ya kosukola maboko. Water to wash hands. Mai ya kosukola nzoto. Mai ya kosukola nzoto. Bath water. Lake is called etima. Or it's called nzale. You can also call it laki. Etima, nzale, or Lucky, that's lake. Etima, nzale, or lucky. River, river is called ebale. Ebale. Ocean is called mbu. Mbu. Donut. Donut in Lingala is called mokate. That's for one, sing, singular. Mokate. Donuts, like plural, is called mikate. Mikate. Note that mokate also means hunger in Lingala slang. Example, nazoyo ka mokate makasi. Nazoyo ka mukate makasi. Oh, nazoyo ka mukate grave. It means I'm very hungry. Fruit or oh, any fruit in Lingala is called mbuma. Mbuma is singular. Fruit or oh, plural. In Lingala is called Bambuma. Bambuma. That's plural. Example Panaipo. Panaipo in Lingala is called Ananasi. Ananasi. That's Ananasi. Mango in Lingala is Manga. Manga. Orange in Lingala is called lilala and malala in uh, in plural lilala singular plural malala banana in english i mean in in lingala is called bitabe bitabe that's plural etabe singular one etabe singular bitabe Plural. Papaya. Papaya in Lingala is called Pai Pai. Pai Pai. That's singular. Plural. Ba Pai Pai. Ba Pai Pai. Orange juice. Orange juice in Lingala is called Mai Yamalala. Mai Yamalala. Or Masanga Yamalala. Mai Yamalala or Masanga Yamalala. Note that when not specified, juice in Lingala means Masanga. But Masanga is often used for beer or liquor. That's why some people use the French word jus. To refer for juice. Example, panaipo juice in Lingala will be masanga ya ananasi. Or you can say ji ya ananasi. Ji ya ananasi. Or masanga ya ananasi. Mango juice. Mango juice in Lingala is mai ya manga. Mai ya manga or masanga ya manga.
you can also call it Ji Yamanga. Note that to say the names of all the types of juice fruit, first you need to find how that fruit is called in Lingala. Second, use Masangaya or Juya, which translates to juice of, then followed by the name of that fruit. Example, for banana juice, we will, banana is called etabe, singular, and plural bitabe. So banana juice will be masanga yabitabe, masanga yabitabe, or ji yabitabe. And ginger in Lingala is called tangawisi. Ginger fruit, uh, juice in Lingala will be uh, Masanga ya Tangawisi Masanga ya Tangawisi or Ju ya Tangawisi and so on Heg in Lingala is called Liki Liki, that single and plural is called Maki Maki, that's two or more, and it's for any type of egg. Example Chicken egg is called Likia Soso, that's single, plural Maki Yasoso. Boiled egg is called Liki Batokisa, that's single, plural. Maki batokisa. Scramble eggs or homelet are called maki bakalinga. Porridge is called potopoto. Potopoto. And cereal is called losango. Losango. Potopoto Yamasango, for example, is called corn porridge. Corn porridge or semolina porridge. Potopoto Yaloso is called rice porridge. Not that Potopoto. Beside its meaning of porridge, it also means mud or muddy in English. Example Motuka Ekangami na potopoto. Motuka Ekangami na potopoto. It means the core is stuck in the mud or the truck is stuck in the mud in lingala car and truck main motuka second example akwei na potopoto akwei na potopoto means he or she fell in the mud also, remember that Akwe means tripped. Third example Longola makolo na yo na potopoto. Longola makolo na yo na potopoto means take your feet out the mud. Fourth example. Nakoya epai na yote po balabala na bino etonda potopoto. Nakoya epai na yote po balabala na bino etonda potopoto. We translate this by I'm not coming to your house 
because your avenue is full of mud. Remember that dirt or dirty means bosoto. Bosoto. It also means mbindo. Mbindo in Lingal. That's different to potopoto. Next, bread in Lingala means lipa. Lipa is singular. Plural is mapa. Mapa. A toast means lipa batumba. Lipa batumba. Lipa batumba also means baked bread. I like bread and butter. In Lingala means na linga kalipa na mateka. Na linga kalipa na mateka. Next example. We don't have any more bread. Means tozali lisusu na mapate. Tozali lisusu na mapate. Or tozali lisusu na lipate. Note that payini also means bread in Lingala slang. And kanga jone also means bread in Lingala slang. Actually, kanga jone is named after the baguette bread made by Pan Victoire Bakery. And quinoa or people from Kinshasa call this bread kangajune, this baguette bread kangajune, because it's large, big, and heavy. So when you eat one in the morning, you can skip lunch and don't get hungry until the evening. That's why they call it kangajune. Next, butter means mateka. Mateka. To put butter in bread means kotia mateka na lipa. Kotia mateka na lipa. Example, I need more butter. We translate this by baki selangai mateka. Baki selangai mateka. We out of butter means mateka esili or toza na mateka te or toza lisusu na mateka te. Peanut in Lingala means nguba, nguba. And peanut butter in Lingala is called mwamba. Mwamba, mwamba. To put peanut butter in bread means kotia mwamba na lipa. Kotia mwamba na lipa. Kotia mwamba na lipa. Example, nalia kanguba te po epesa kangai mapipi. Nalia kanguba te Po epesa kangai ma pipi. Means, I don't eat peanut because it gives me allergies. Nalia kanguba te po epesa kangai ma pipi. I don't eat peanut because it gives me allergies. Next example. Nalinga kalipa. Na mwamba. Na lingaka lipa na mwamba. Means, I like bread and peanut. Next, avocado in lingala means avoka. Avoka. 
it's close to English, you know, but it came from French. And to peel the avocado means kosala avoka or sala avoka. Sliced avocado in Lingala is called epasi ya avoka. Epasi ya avoka. Just a slice in Lingala is called a pasi a pasi a pasi can be a slice of anything avocado oil in lingala is mafuta ya avoka mafuta ya avoka sugar in lingala is called sukali sukali I don't like sugar means nalingaka sukali te nalingaka sukali te I need sugar means nazali na posa ya sukali nazali na posa ya sukali Is there any sugar means sukali ezali sukali Ezali. For the second sentence here, sukali ezali means there is sugar. So I want you to notice the difference between this sentence here and this one. Sukali ezali. You see, I'm uh, I'm putting too much strength at the ending sound of this sentence and on this one i'm not sukali ezali the differences between these two are for a question sentence in lingala if the sentence is written it will be easier for you to notice that but if the sentence is not written like during a conversation you need to pay attention to the ending sound people will tend to put more strength to the last sentence or the last sound of the sentence they're saying and that tells you that sentence is a question like I said, this one, sukali ezali, ezali is the verb to be. And here it's a question. But this one, sukali ezali, sukali ezali, it just goes straight like smooth. And it means the sentence is an affirmation. Sukali ezali means there is sugar. Last example, add more sugar. Add more sugar means bakisa sukali. Bakisa sukali. This is the end of this video. If you like it and you like the work that we're doing, please hit the like button share this video with your friend family and anyone you want to learn lingala with also comment below to show your love and support to keep us motivated to bring you more quality lessons don't forget to subscribe and activate the ring so we send you all the notifications whenever we upload a new lesson and make sure you also add us on snapchat instagram facebook and twitter because we also send notifications there and we send some stuff that you guys cannot find here on YouTube. If you want to support us financially to buy new equipment to bring you more quality lessons, you can donate on paypal.com slash Lingala Academy or you can also donate on Patreon 
dot com slash Lingara Academy. Thank you and see you next time. Also subscribe to my comedy channel The Love Gracias on YouTube so you can watch the comedy that we already made, laugh and learn Lingala. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and uh, uh, Snapchat by typing the love gracias. The love gracias. Have fun. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please comment and share this video with your friends and your family. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any future video. If you have any question, please comment below or send us a message on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter by typing Lingala Academy. Lingala Academy. You can also follow us on Snapchat by typing the love gracias. The love gracias. Thank you and see you next time.